Oh, um, you w wonderful bitches, bitches, and bitchettes. Welcome to another Balls Reaction video. It is totally me, Cordial Star VA. Today we're watching Guts vs. Dimitri. Yep, this is the intro. Hi, my name is Red Runner. Welcome to another reaction video. <laughs> I, I, I bet everyone is gonna question why I just did Vinny's uh, intro instead of the usual one. You can still yeah, say it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, long story short, uh, Vinny hates the matchup because of uh, Dimitri's entire existence. So, yeah, it's let's go. Let's go, yeah. bitches, bitches, and bitchettes. My name is my name is uh, Cooler Juice Star VA, and welcome to the Boss Reaction. Today we're gonna be watching my favorite DB DBZ DBZ Death Battle matchup. <laughs> DBZ Death Battle matchup. That makes all of sense. Yeah, anyway, gut, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guts versus uh, Yamcha. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Um, okay. Actual intro. Hey, all of you crusty whores of the world. Welcome to another episode of the Crusty Reactions, the show where three of the most crustiest of whores back to the most crustiest of death battles. As well as to have the usual guests, me, uh, Sancho, Yuckman, general people. Oh yeah, this matchup's gonna get people a little crusty, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, uh, today we are watching Guts vs. Dimitri. Uh, uh, do we have uh, anything to say uh, in terms of the, the matchup? Uh... Don't know Dimitri! Love the sad Guts image! <laughs> yeah, um, I'm... I'm gonna see if I can put that uh, image on screen because when I first showed it off, oh, young man was just laughing his ass off. He looks so sad. <laughs> he looks so sad, sad. in like comparison, in comparison to like Dimitri laughing in his face. <laughs> it's like it's like he knows. <laughs> the villain banged your girlfriend. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> oh, no. Bro, I, bro, no, it's it's more like ah, your parents are dead, loser. <laughs> <laughs> Sad parents died. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So as always, make sure to watch the official release that's gonna be in the description below. Support Rooster Team. Support yeah, that battle. Yeah, just like the dick Ethan is, uh, I'm Yuckman, and that's also true. <laughs> yeah, 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 I mentioned you guys. You only mentioned me. <laughs> I said you two, are you deaf or are you deaf? Because if you ask me, then I think you're goddamn deaf. Anyway, for the official okay. release, before coming here to see your thoughts, don't be stupid, follow the rules, and... and it should be good. Hopefully, it won't be turned into an actual bloodbath like the two these two are gonna cause. Yeah. Uh, so in terms of Dick would win, uh, we can all agree it's going to be uh, it's gonna be the Dimitri. Dimitri. Right? This yeah. Is what we can all agree on. Oh yeah, yeah this should be an easy Dimitri W. From what I heard. I don't know if it's gonna be easy. Yeah, uh, I, I think this is I think this is more like gonna be with the rest or like most of the season in, in terms of as I, in terms of it could go either way. I'm stuttering. Why am I stuttering? I'll never understand. I don't know the medi I don't know the medieval stuff in the in the the medieval stuff that's uh, happened this season. It was a banger. So I, yeah, I, I, I yeah bet this one might be. Yeah, uh, but unlike uh, Dragonborn versus Chosen Undead, um, this is a matchup that I could actually give a shit about because Fire Emblem is a long anticipated series that needed to be in the show at some point. And you know the sad, you know the sad part about that? Yeah. I can't even get mad at that. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I'm just more surprised that like Dimitri is our first uh, Fire Emblem rep. Yeah. And I want to hope that this episode could get me interested in like Fire Emblem Three Houses. Well, I got interested in Dimitri, that's for sure. Yeah. And I'm just hoping this could potentially be my new favorite. But you know, we'll see Hopefully. how it goes. Hopefully, yeah, it becomes so. a second. 
Yeah. yeah so, next, uh, to, next to Ant Man versus Ash. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I think this is the longest intro we've done. That's saying a lot considering. Considering Phoenix versus Raven. I mean, this is gonna be the hard. I mean, for me, this is tied with Phoenix versus Raven as the hardest thing I had to debate. Yeah, I think like, like our previous one, Phoenix versus Raven, was like our shortest intro. Uh, this uh, and like Kilo versus Misaka could possibly be our longest intro we've done. Yeah, that's saying a lot. Let's not let's not prolong any further. I've been waiting to see oh, okay. this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're uh. You're all ready then? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Drip, drip, drip. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp and Mint Mobile. Yo, yo, the funny, the funny guy who does Deadpool or whatever. I can't believe we're just at team. Can you guys believe it? The brutal black swordsman of Berserk and Dimitri, the savage so savior king from Fire Emblem. Vengeance is an ever malicious force. It can turn <laughs> any <laughs> <into> <laughs> broken, traumatized. They didn't boost it first and then one man army. He's the other way around. Then And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills. What is this? Season two? A death battle. And I'm not going so against it. It's kind of oh, 3D. Anyway. In the red of yeah. Midland. Yeah, right? 3D. Really sucks all around. I didn't see the sneak peeks for everyone. Villages, villages get pillages, and, and a helpless elf fairy has become target practice for some thugs. Batter up! Until walking into the torment comes a stranger clad in black, cleaving through anyone in his way with one humongous sword. Wizard 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 is too big to be called a sword, too bad uh, and thick, more like a slab of raw fire than a normal to this man can wield. Someone had to make the comparison. Name. Guts. Someone well, had to make the right? It makes guts so <laughs> terrifying. Well, we're about to get into some really, really dark shit. Fair warning. Born from his mother's recently yes. hanged it's totally corpse, not like we've Guts was taken in by a mercenary course. band led by Gambino. No wonder. Who definitely isn't winning Father of the Year. Gambino put Guts through the ringer, training him with swords way too big for him before putting him in his life. Gambino, I thought Trump was nine Gambino, I years old. Training with America. such large swords made Guts inhumanly strong, but he needed like a different that kind happen. of strength to endure the horrendous abuse he suffered from Gambino. So he murdered the best like the Griffin! Trust me, with no home or family to speak of, Christ. Guts aimlessly wandered for years as a lone mercenary until he became an ambitious Griffin, impressed by Guts' old battle prowess and blunt honesty. I almost said gritty. I almost said gritty. Mercenary group. The Griffin. Where Guts <laughs> is to right. the fight style made him the perfect captain. The uh, dude I was hard enough to fight one of the And he even helped Andy win a hundred year long war. All while no, earning no, respect no. and glory he's with just, Griffin and his group. And for the first time, time Guts wow, 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 Really, really bad things happen. Upon the eclipse, Griffith summoned a bunch of demons, became a super demon himself, and sacrificed Guts' new friends to the abyss. If that wasn't bad enough, he marked Guts with a demonic brain, then raped his girlfriend Costa, forcing Guts to watch as his eye was split open and he was forced to tear off his own arm. Yeah, really bad things. Guts barely escaped with his life. He vowed to brutally murder Griffith and every demon down to the last one. No small task, even for him. And every big task needs even bigger weapons. Guts is bread and butter. Butter is the enormous dragon slayer. Six and a half feet long and weighing over 300 pounds. The dragon slayer is absurd. And Guts' hands are to cleave through plated armor and even demons with skin of blood. A real life metal that's harder than steel. And since Guts has made killing demons his favorite pastime, dragon slayer was exposed by that much demonic blood that it exists on the astral plane. Killing a it can harm any supernatural monster. What a fucking Guts asshole. Ever. Guts also carries a collection of explosives and throwing knives, but I'm partial to his Very mechanical law. Complete with an wondrous invention of a repeater crossbow and a secret cannon. Yeah, that's neat, no, but they aren't as awesome as Dragon Slayer here. God, how does he do this? OK, 
Okay, the repeater crossbow is pretty cool. Uh, it can he fire does it. Oh, four to five bolts per second, making it the go-to option for mowing down groups of bad guys. And hey, if you gotta lose your hand, replacing it with a goddamn super. Oh, yeah, the in that show is great. Demons are afraid of this thing. Tell from my start. Snake base with his collection of weapons oh, and indomitable will, got slaughtered yeah, everyone and no, everything. Right no. No. Be no. Be no. An army no. No. A super sonic. I think you fucking hurt you. We're like cannons. But while Guts took the physical challenges in stride, his mental strife was I will hunt you down like Gritty. I'm aggressive. I will hunt you down like his inner beast of darkness. Guts tried to shoulder the I'll hunt down like Gritty. Even for a time, even the last one who survived. And then all orange justice down to everyone. replaced the comrades Guts lost during the eclipse. However, through his resilience, he eventually saw the dangerous path he was on, and so reunited with Casca and eventually came to depend on new companions. Including pretty boy Serpico. He doesn't look like much, but the guy is fast enough to dodge lightning at speeds over 100 times faster than sound. And Guts has kept up with him more than once. And thanks to the witch Aurora, Guts got his deadliest and riskiest task, the Berserker Armor. Oh boy, they shot him. It's the thing, it's the thing. This armor gives Guts a huge amp in strength. Pain means nothing to him now, and it even heals injuries on the fly. Wait, did I say heal? What I meant was it pierces his torn flesh and broken bones together so he can fight until the actual it's, last it's drop of blood is healing by. Man, that's hard. Uh, and factor. extremely risky. Donning the armor has been nearly a disaster for him more than once. Yeah, when he's in a stitched up rage, the beast of darkness is gnawing on his mind. Tempting him to go berserk. Bam! Title drop. Guts is tenacity. Hey, he's he's to the thing. He's, he's held back a demonic he's the thing. withstood being he's in jail and oh, even teamed up with a fabled <laughs> demon swordsman to take down an apostle that can channel lightning. He had sliced up a cloud dude in the rawest manga panel ever. Just look at it. If that's that not bad enough for look you, look at it. it. Kill the giant look sea god look from look at the it. inside. With its whale, I want to know if you're not looking at it. that covered an entire island. The kinetic energy of such a storm is immense. Gauging the size of the island, the energy required to induce such a storm would need to exceed 600 kilotons of TNT. Yeah, that's right. Guts good at a sea monster whose shout was a natural disaster. He you needed know, to do that you know, and much you know, more to reach Elf, you know, where Custom's lost sanity you know, was Goku finally returned. Things were looking up for the legendary Black Swordsman. But that bastard Griffin just wouldn't leave Griffin, like, tries to no go matter, go matter how tragic his tale becomes, Mr. Guts will curse him like, I'll oh, have your ear and cut off and melt it over me violently. A renewed heart, a badass sword, and the last I said he can your demon or bad hurts to do is melt it Well, these claws ain't just for attracting me. <laughs> This episode of Death Battles hey, 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 Put it, uh, like, 30 so, page essay on what is wrong with us. Therapy, consider giving someone actually does that in their comment right fucking now. Designed to be Bro, if, flexible and suited if, like, someone does that, I will literally hit that comment and subscribe to their channel, bro. And you can switch therapists yeah. at any time. That's how, no extra that's how dedicated someone has to be. With better help. Visit betterhelp.com slash death battle today to get... Uh, also, I, I just love how we're talking oh, over it's like better help. Ad. This is basically our intermission. And we just not pay attention to bear help. Okay, to be sure, here we go. Fire emblem. Alright, Domino. Treat this series with respect. Write their own name. Prince Dimitri Alexandra Blakin was no exception. Yeah, baby. With far more experienced warriors. In part because he was a crest bearer. Or someone gifted Mrs. Like the blood of the yeah, god. Yeah, that sounds about right. Those yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> gain anything from enhanced magic. That's like something he would hate. At nine years yeah, old, I bet you Kylo Ren will be dislike her too. Run across mountains for hours. I heard that's a matchup, but I don't exactly get it. Most I don't know. I don't know. It's just like hypocrisy or some shit. I don't know. Dimitri was strong, but generally kind. Hey, it's the other guy who didn't get a matchup. Ha! Edelgard, a dagger. 
I'm sure he has a matchup. Yeah. Notable one. Uh, yeah. Ah, fatherless. <laughs> Fucking pussy, come back to me when, you're, when your girlfriend gets all no. <laughs> I can't say that. This <laughs> shit. Don't worry though. When Back the when you're more a couple years later, That is the thing. He did the thing. Is it some kind of twisted joke? Otherwise, his chivalrous charm remained forefront. With guidance from his dad, stop looking at me with those eyes. He got into the Garrick Box <laughs> Officers Academy, where he led the Blue Lion's house and learned the mystic arts. Well, he's not the most proficient in it, but Dimitri did learn healing and elemental uh, magic. Poor magic, fucking loser. Through his weapons, magic cooking, he could electrocute tons of enemies at once. Yeah. <laughs> and more from everyone's favorite smash. At least he has. At least he uh, has. Why you capping? Why you capping? Kevin! Yeah, I'm going Caps! Oh, we all know that the best Smash character is Sans on details. Yeah, totally. Uh huh? You know what? That makes sense. Yeah, there that makes sense. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. For life, Jocelyn, Jocelyn, what? Of course, Jocelyn picks the gods. Uh, Amphibia! Uh, Dimitri's root, he what? Uh, Amphibia! Amphibia on the background! Yo! I got it. We're ripping off on two men? Monsters, but all of them made Dimitri an ace at warfare. Especially when Violet taught him some special skills. The seal movement technique stopped foes in their tracks. Frozen Lance skewers enemies with ice, and Swordbreaker boosts evasion against blade users. So I wonder what that move does. Can enter an awakened state for even more power. Dimitri led his classmates through thick and thin, but everything changed when he suspected the one behind the tragedy. Hey, that's the line. It's something. It's something. Dun, dun, dun. To end Fodlin's oppressive press system, Edelgard and her empire declared war on Fargus and the Church of Seros. Dimitri could be cruel before, but after this betrayal, he snapped, vowing to kill every last one of That's them. That's supposed to be blood on every last one of them. The enemy, all to appease the voices that call for Edelgard's head. He's not exactly. And then he swore to fight Griffith. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> Unable to know peace. Imagine if we get like Dimitri versus Griffith as like a DDX or something. Murderer Hobo was in. Nah, yeah, that's never gonna happen. He wields the ultimate lance, the hero's relic. Eris Bar. from the God, man, he doesn't get sleep. sleep. My it God. Is much stronger than oh. metal. It can pierce any armor with its signature move, Atrocity. And I, I'm pretty sure there's a Mancini's ma 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 Mancini's mattress somewhere. Dimitri kept killing, but no bloodshed could calm his mind. He reached peak war crimes, torturing an enemy. So, uh, shout out to the, like, Raven vs. Twilight. Every music like playing with the back. Making the ultimate sacrifice. Dimitri was broken. Terrified of yet another voice haunting him. Except this time, he had his professor to help him out. We really gotta pay teachers more, y'all. Dimitri still felt hatred for Edelgard. See, I would relate and kingdom he neglected. I was in school. However, I am not. Killing every last one of them, he would save every last one by retaking Vargas's capital. A task this wretch turned savior king had the strength to do. Dimitri has dodged meteors going mocks. I'm only gonna expect this. Ah shit! Oh no! Illuminati! Yo, Illuminati! Bro, I'm just walking through that shit. In her, bested the Archbishop of the Church of Seros, Ray. This is important because after dragging it up, Ray survived two exploding javelins of light, aka magic noose. Jeez, and Dimitri can fight on her level. Oh, indeed. indeed, but, but in, in the end, end despite, despite half a second of right. slaughter, Dimitri, Dimitri was hesitant to kill Adolgar. In part from learning she wasn't responsible, responsible for the tragedy. tragedy. Still, Still, both, both monarchs, monarchs had ideas for Fodlin that were simply afraid of the dead. Dimitri definitely felt that army. The war was over. And with his allies at his side, Dimitri claimed his place as a just king. You know, you know, picked, picked a different, different house. house. His, His story doesn't end very happy in those. But, but though the, the voices of the dead will haunt Dimitri until his final breath, so long as he has his friends, conviction, and compassion for the living, he will find peace.
piece. Okay. Okay. Didn't the meat trees feel a little short? Uh, I think it was fine, right enough. Yeah. yeah. So there was no, there was no final predictions. predictions. Dimitri, uh, let me say this. I'm fucked. fucked. I don't know who to say. Dimitri. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I too am saying Dimitri, but uh, I am rooting for both, which is a first for these two actions. I where really don't. I really. I mean, I mean both, both of them. I would like to win. But if I'm talking, if I'm talking about what I've been shown or what I've been told, yeah, I'm going with Dimitri. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Uh, I was that's about to say... That's a hard choice. I was about to say, if, like, you're going guts, this would be, like, another admin animator Obito. If they... Oh, no. <laughs> if, I get, if I get hit with the Ben 10 versus Green Lantern, I swear to God. <laughs> if you get hit with the Ben 10 versus Green Lantern. Hi, Ma. Thanks for the... Okay, okay, so we're all saying Dimitri then. Yes. Yes, I am okay. saying Domino's Pizza, I mean. Domino's oh, Pizza, okay. Here we go. Alright, the Bat Stars have run the day All those houses fell down. What? Nate, it's Dimitri. time for a death battle! Oh, 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 what drives your slaughter? To save our mighty crap to the dead. The fact that online animation is better than official animation says a lot about you guys. So, uh, I do remember that, uh, uh, Daniel Bowman is in this fight, uh, but I don't, what I don't remember is who. Hey, Xander! The funny Smash announcer guy. <laughs> Okay, promising. You love the effects, yep. So I, uh, stop something else I'll point out. Uh, this is a vocal track, which is a. <laughs> Already? Jesus Christ! Why? Oh my god! Okay. okay. Ah. From your shoulders, the dead must have their revenge! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> The oh, oh, oh. oh, okay. Oh. oh damn. Oh, it hasn't even been a minute, and there's already a lot of blood. Oh my god! You want it? It's yours. He looks like a Gmod character on fire. <laughs> uh, he's, he's fine, though. Oh, that's a. He's an eight shot. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh god. Oh no. god. Reference both of their lines at the same time, that's wrong. They're both going to say it. Yeah, oh as they should. God. Okay, I didn't just the... I wasn't expecting to help. Yo, okay, wait. That's not it. I know that's not it. That can't be it. Should be. I think that's it. That's not it. I think that's it. No, no, I see it. Oh, no. I swear to God, Hey. Wait! What, what the, the hell is that? I will to the dead. You foul beast will not have a soul! <laughs> oh, wait. Did he die standing? Yo, wait! What? White beard? Wait! Yo! Oh, dying on his feet! Bro, that is. 
Even when he dies, he still goes hard. That is the fucking regular Ragnarok Adam type story. Bro, that is a fucking Don Juan piece! The more I keep saying that. Yeah, yeah. That was a unique death. Oh my god. God damn. It's so hard for no reason. That death should not go that hard. For no reason. I guess we were all right on the I think they are. I was kind of had that like, in, like, I was like, he was dying for the end. He still comes in the background. Then uh, he just throws the star in. But in this context, it makes sense. Remember, yeah, after the week, he defeated Ray, who survived two javelins of light. In the Mitra's group, he defeated a who was a power to rest Bad. So, so if Rhea can take on the Javelins of Light, Dimitri should be at a similar level. So let's find out how strong the Javelins are. However, the exact number of Javelins used to create the valley was never given, making the Mind man individual died? Unclear. But if you know how the Javelins in this attack were striking a pose in the moon, until the goddess striking a just over the force instead of the he did actually lift the golden tree. Shut the fuck up! Even if we I could have said I don't find it. Between yeah, I have to that. Surviving two Notably faster superior and they're nimbly stronger, trust me, by faster arm. I mean, I know Cooler's still gonna dislike this matchup, but goddamn, it goes hard. That goes hard. <laughs> The winner is Dimitri. Oh, okay, oh, okay. You, you did a little too much there. Okay. Thanks for watching. Okay, so normally we would let this rock. However, I do want to ask if you guys have anything, what do you think the next time will be? I already know what it is. I, I honestly don't know. Okay. They, they've, they've been throwing, they've been throwing like unexpected, uh, throwing unexpected, bro. Yeah. Um, what I think they're going to do. Since, since they've been doing uh, turning characters back to back to back, I do think this could be, could be another returning character. As for who, I don't know. But uh, based on the pattern we've been having, uh, I do think it could be someone from season five. Uh, you know, season five? Who could that be? Uh, yeah, yeah. Since, uh, since like Vader and Gus were from season two, Raymond was one of them from season five, so. Would make sense. Mm. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe yeah. Maybe yeah. Maybe yeah. Maybe. But, uh, let's see. 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 let here I thought it was gonna. Here I thought. Here I thought it was gonna be another return, but apparently not. Just a. I mean, yeah. But then again, I don't know nothing about Martian Manhunter or Silver Surfer. Um, I know that like um, uh, Manhunter's uh, most popular matchup at this point was like Vision. Wasn't but, uh, there a red tornado? tornado? Uh, yeah, that's like, that's like another match. Oh wait, that's her vision. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking... Yeah, oh, yeah. uh, uh, you know what? Now that I think about it, they might actually do vision for this red tornado when I'm upset. Well, well, what, what did, did you want, want for vision? <laughs> Martian Manhunter? Oh. Well, uh, you're getting Silver Surfer, so... Um... <laughs> Yeah, you know what? It's fun. I, I, I don't know anything about, about Silver Surfer, Surfer, but you always intrigued me. Yeah, you know what? At, at least we're getting some new blood. Uh, but on topic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Fucking 
Oh, any oh, sauce. Oh. No. Oh. Bro, I need to attack. I need to attack for my pasta. Bro, we, we could we could all agree. Gus versus Dimitri is a fucking ten out of ten. Yeah. Yeah. Nine. Nine. I have to see. I have to rewatch this episode a lot. From what I got. These, These moments, moments go hard, hard and it's, it's definitely, definitely number, number two. two. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah you're like, Three or two ahead. for me. Number three or number two. Yeah, yeah. This, this is, is the number one for you, Yes, yes. yes. Okay. This, this is for you. This is definitely. Look at him! No, go back. Look at him. He's a fucking G Mod ragdoll on fire. He's a fucking ragdoll G Mod. We should play G Mod after this. <laughs> yeah, get a Dimitri model. Yeah, I'm like 99% uh, sure G-Mod has like Dimitri model. I know, if you don't have a 3D model for a 3D character, oh, this part yeah. goes hard. Oh, yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. I have to like, I have to like play the audio for this, because this is... What's so hard for no reason? Hold on, I have to... I have to it's, not, it's not like, it's not like Jason Pops like... Like, oh, you know, the the that hits so awkward. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. I can't imagine how the vocal track by itself would sound like. Bro, it's... It's just the fact that they've, like, quoted both of Guts's uh, down to the last one. And, and like, Dimitri killed every last one of them. Oh, like, oh, oh, God. God. Yeah. Ah, man. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting, expecting that, that from this matchup. matchup. From, from this, bro. Bro. I'm just gonna say this right now. Betty, if by some miracle you're like watching this video, you are missing out. Yeah. Honestly, this has the effect on me that I had for like, like Black versus Thawne and fucking. Oh, yeah. yeah, I was. I was literally just about to say, Benny, if like I can go through the Black Curse Thaw, you can definitely go through this. That's all I'm saying. This is fucking. This is fucking hard, man. Like this, For no that, reason, that, too. It's hard. Oh, and he just realizes that he's being controlled? God damn. No. Oh. Oh. Okay. Shot. This death should have never I, go this hard. I don't even know you can bridge this, this one. <laughs> this is this is the shot of all time. That's what I'm yeah. Like fucking. Either that or this. That death. The one, one piece. piece. The one, one piece is real. I don't know. It's it's more like the fire emblem. The fire emblem is real. A three houses! The three houses are real! Okay, hold on. Uh, the gritty! The gritty is real! <laughs> okay, hold on. I have to see, uh, the blue tentacle was great. Uh, play, uh, play, uh, Alexander was guts. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. He, he played yeah, guts. Okay. Dimitri, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Andrew, uh, 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 what's up, up the dead? Dander? Kevin? Uh, you guys, um, you guys, you guys, W, absolute W. w. Voices, Voices of the, the Dead are the, the fucking. Yeah, I guess, I guess it's, it's the fire, fire scene. I assume so. And then, then the, like Beast of, of Darkness was like obviously. That's that's that's, that's, that's we all know. know. <laughs> yeah, bro, hold on, God's hands. Wow, so w, good. W, uh, a common, common brand. Oh, loaded by Logan Adams. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That's, the same guy that like did Hedge of Tomorrow. Yeah. One of them was good. I wonder. Okay, um. Uh, for next time, I'm kind of surprised that they're doing this, but like not in a like, way we have been getting surprises. I didn't did, did know they were gonna use Martian Manor. <laughs> yeah, I'm more surprised in like, why is this a thing? Is this, is this a matchup, matchup people ask for? Um, I know I that it's definitely a matchup, but I don't, don't think a lot of people have been Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they, they want, want someone else for either of these characters. Yeah, I'm, 
I'm pretty sure Silver Surfer has some more matchups to his name. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's no, so maybe this will be fun. fun. I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean uh, cons cons considering Phoenix vs. Raven, uh, yeah, I, bet, I, bet I bet this one's gonna be better, because, because well, I like Silver, Silver Surfer, Surfer despite not knowing who the hell he is. is. Yeah, um, I, I think, think for me, this reveal is it's kinda like the Chosen Undead vs. Dragonborn, in terms of, like, kinda not too into it, but also kinda not against it. Uh, Wait a minute, have we ever mentioned the wheel? I... Be 100% honest with you. Like, dead ass, I'm sure. Like, dead ass, I completely forgot about the Wheel's existence. The Death Battle, the Death Battle Cypher. I, I completely forgot about the Wheel's existence. I am so sorry, viewers. <laughs> like, like, literally, like, let, me, let me post this in the chat real quick. Okay, yeah. Because, like, yeah, yeah, what? Because what? I'm thinking about it. What, what are each matches? What, how many matches have there been so far? Uh, so there's the wrong wheel. Yeah, and there's that. Uh, is this the one? No, that's not the right one. I'm an idiot. <laughs> that is the wrong wheel. That's a fan made one. Uh, you know what? I'll just pick up the one. Ah, I think this is it. Hold on. I think this is it. I got it. I got it. Did it take it back? Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah. So, okay. What could this be? I want to say it's like the. I think that's. I think the two. I think the two star. I think the two swords are what does versus Demetrius. Um, but I could be wrong. Oh, hold on. So I want to say that the two swords is like dragon. It's like dragon world for the chosen dead. Yeah. I want to say, I, I, I want to say, Gus versus Dimitri is like the Justin thing. Why not? I mean, three thousand has a judgment system, doesn't it? Pretty sure it does. Yeah, I, I, I think after this episode, this definitely makes me want to uh, try out three houses. Because I want to know which one is Martian Manhunter and Silver Surfer. Is, is that what sure the water is? Is that what the water no. is? Oh, no. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure the water is like Stitch versus Rocket, and the star is like, uh, uh, Manhunter versus Silver. Yeah, pretty they sure. are from space, so... Yeah. They could be for something. Yeah, that it. That would make sense. Yeah. Okay, um, anything else we need to bring up, or is that it? Anyway. Uh, yes. I think that's, um, it. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's it. So, amazing episode overall. Kind of mixed on the next time. Something we can all agree on. Yeah, right? we're all mixed on it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, if you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, uh, check out El Sancho, A Duckman. Their channels will be in the description below. Uh, follow me on Twitter. I'm still calling it X. Follow me on Twitter. Join the Discord. Um, now, with the release of this episode, I can't say that I am no longer taking commissions. Um, however, I will be taking something else uh, if the editor can pull this up. I uh, want to hope he does and not be a fucking idiot. Um, I am doing a like Rev Trocity style video uh, with the characters I played for the Battle of Ridge. So if you wanna send a quirky line, uh, go to that movie post, comment something with the characters, uh, and maybe, just maybe, it might be featured. And you know, that goes for like, you guys too. If you want. So, as always, okay. as always, this has been another episode of the Crescent Reactions, and we'll see you all on the flip side. Flip side. Mm -hmm. Bye. See ya.